Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm Sarah Sun and this is Daily Rambles. Today we're doing Legends of Tomorrow, and this is episode three, episode season three, episode seven. And it's called Welcome to the Jungle. So we start off in 1967 in Vietnam, and where this group encounters something insane and we don't know what it is yet. So then we cut to where Sarah is still in a coma and Amaya's training. And Ashley Stein was trying to wake Sarah up by doing some training with her um, staffs, or I don't know what they call it. Anyway, her weapons. But that didn't work. And then Amaya's training. And then Zari got busted for Helen of Troy, thanks to Mick. But uh, she backs up saying it's fine. Everything's fine. <laughs> and so um, they do an, another anachronism and they go to, to Vietnam. And then um, a guy told them to stay out of the jungle of the guy that was left on the team. And we have the, so the, the legends go into the jungle. And um, the girl shows them, um, is when a girl at the camp is going to show them who it is or what it is. And then turns out Mick's dad is in Vietnam, and that's why Mick didn't want to go. And that's why he's being extra, extra cranky, and ambushes the legends. And then Nate learns about uh, Mick, what Mick did, basically burned his father alive and killed him. And then we have Stan, I guess, a team of scientists to help him. That includes Isaac Newton and a bunch of other people. <laughs> And then Jack sees him and gets disappointed and about him lying, about him lying, not him being, not being able to figure out um, how to separate um, themselves. So Jack's going to be all of Firestorm. And then uh, Nick's dad saves Nick from an ambush. And then the news crew legends visits Grodd, thanks to the girl. And uh, their signal got jammed when they went to the uh, camp area. And then we have um, Mick and the, um, his dad talk. And then we have Jax talks to Sarah while she's still in a coma. And, you know, it's like they're just saying that their feelings and just hear what they're talking about loud so they kind of make sense of what's happening. And then uh, we have Nate is concerned about uh, Mick because he's trying to burn his arm. And, you know, you can't feel anything because he burned it so bad the first time. And then he feels guilty for being a D-bag because his, he wants that his dad wasn't really one. And then um, we cut to where Grodd is trying to start World War Three, And um, so Zari and... Um, managed to break free, um, managed to, what is it, to unblock the signal blocker <laughs> and toss through the wave rider and, um, and mechanism went from 8 to a 10 and that's when they found out World War Three was trying to happen. And so Grodd uh, gets to Amaya and makes messes with her head and turns out the president is in, um, is in Vietnam, and that Grodd is trying to kill him. Just, I was like, oh, don't do that. So, uh, Zari gets busted and, uh, for, and by the girl, and the girl originally lowers her weapon, but then it gets not controlled by Grodd and knocks her out. Then Jax is going to help whether um, he can be as fast or as not. He wants to do it on his own without Stein. The next dad knocks out Nate because Nate was trying to tell him not to go in the area. And he said, uh, well, it's when you tell my men, then he knocks him out. And then Amaya talks to Grodd and trying to calm him down. It almost works, but Nick's dad started shooting at them. So, yeah. And then Grodd gets really pissed. And then Mick sees his dad. Then the dad talks to the group. Um, of people because um, Grog went after the time machine and all that type of stuff because he did not control voodoo so he's trying to go off to the wave rider and then it's Mick versus dad because the dad wants to kill the, the dad wants to kill everyone in the group well it's a pretty big group too 
But his dad, um, but Mitch tells him to stand down, so he does, and then knocks him out. That's what Mitt did. And then we had Jack says the president uh, by um, following his footsteps um, through the landmines to get to safety. And then uh, Grodd is on the wave rider, and then Sarah is under Grodd's control, and then Newt knocks her out with a frying pan. And then uh, we have the girl um, is, is going to be a leader. And basically what Stein does as my dog enters the room is <laughs> he um, basically um, t um, gets, jumps into the time vortex and Grot is falling into the napalm. And then we have... So everyone is released of the spell and the girl decides she's going to be at peace with herself uh, thanks to uh, Zari's um, suggestion and to become a leader. Then Mick and Dad talk, and his dad talk, and then Jax and Stein talk as well, and then the president gives Jax a pie recipe, and Sarah is finally out of her coma, and then Grodd is in the present day, because uh, Dark recruited him, and that's the end of the video. Uh, it was a pretty good video, um, a pretty good episode. <laughs> anyway, um, I thought it was pretty good. I'll give this a A. There was just a couple minor things I didn't really like, but other than that, it was a really, really good episode. Um, I'll go to A+. Plus. Yeah, I'll go to A+. Plus. It was really good, to be honest. Um, I liked the whole uh, dynamics between everyone. I finally a little bit, learned a little bit more about Mick and how Nate learned more about um, Mick and just what he's going through and then Mix probably had a little bit of personal growth, I feel like, and so I feel like that was really good. And I just like the interactions between everyone. I feel like um, I hope we dive more into Zarya's character and to more Amaya's character as well. So um, I'm very excited to see what's going to happen next, and it's the crossover happening next. So I'm very excited for that. So anyway, that's going to do it for this video. So if you like this video, please give it a like. Comment down below what you think, and then subscribe for more stuff, because why wouldn't you? Because it's fun here. It's like I'm playing. If you want to subscribe, that'd be great. Anyway, I want you to have an awesome day. I'll see you on the next video. Have a very awesome day. Bye, everybody.